So guys, welcome to Amsterdam. This is a city I've visited for two times already and I always find something new to explore. Today I'm gonna take you through all my bucket list experiences here in Amsterdam. I would go for... okay. Joining me is my brother Alejandro and my friends Oscar and Rob who live here right now and will help me find all those hidden gems of the city. Now let's get this video started with something that has to be the first thing that you do once you arrive into Amsterdam. And this is the boat tours. So it's basically this tour that goes all around the city. It's quite a nice price, it cost me one hour like 12 euros. The thing is that you, ha you need to make the Kruis uh, trip because you see Amsterdam uh, with another perspective. So Amsterdam is mainly known for one thing and that's the canals. There's actually 165 canals all around Amsterdam and 50 kilometers of canals. This is why this city is also known as the Venice of the North and you can see right here there's, there's these boats. Some of them have uh, special things like in this case like you can even have lunch on them. You can see the boat right here. So I definitely recommend you to take one of the boat tours and then if you want something more special you can even uh, rent a gondola but that's gonna go a little bit higher on the price. Most of the boat tours depart from Amsterdam Central which is this main station that connects with the rest of the country. There's a lot of trains uh, arriving here and connecting to all the places in the Netherlands. Very close to Amsterdam Central, you'll find this place called Nemo, which is a very interesting building with a very nice observation deck. So this right there, it's the Nemo building. It's a museum of science. And if you go to the rooftop, it has one of the best views of the whole city. You can see all the old town from there. So guys, right behind me is the Anne Frank's House Museum and I just got off uh, the museum it's this tiny house where, uh, for those who don't know the story of Anne Frank, it's basically the story of a Jewish girl, a small girl, who got, um, who was hiding on this house right here, thanks to uh, some local heroes who um, let, let her stay there. It's a very sad story because finally the Nazis caught them and they took her and her family to a concentration camp and only her father survived. When her father came back to this place, he found Anne's diary. There's a thing that he, that he says uh, during the visit and that is that um, he never knew his daughter was as deep and as thoughtful of everything that was happening and was actually an aspiring journalist and writer. So she actually had really good words. I was impressed by her. And the most important thing about it, I feel like, it's how it teaches a lesson and give us a warning of how humans can 
actually behave and, and it makes us think about how we really have to avoid and we really have to fight against this kind of evil. I hope in the 21st century we finish with it. Tonight is a very beautiful night here in Amsterdam. There's a little bit of mist, which makes it kind of mysterious. So this is the Jordan neighborhood in Amsterdam. And in my opinion, it's the most beautiful neighborhood of the city. The architecture is so beautiful and it has so many iconic places. So we are making it now to Dam Square, which is the main square here in Amsterdam. This is Dam Square. So right behind me, it's the most important monument here in Dam Square. This is the Amsterdam National Monument. And it's basically a monument for uh, the victims of World War II and the Dutch soldiers fallen during the war. So this right here is the bulldog. We understood that there's three different uh, bulldogs, like like the store as you see here. The hotel is over there, and uh, you will find the first one. It's the the first coffee shop here in Amsterdam. So we are right in front of the first Bulldog coffee shop and this is basically, uh, you know, there's a lot of coffee shops around Amsterdam if you're interested in that and right here is the entrance to the, we are in front of the red light district, uh, the infamous red light district. You will probably know what goes on inside of this place. If you're curious about it and you want to visit, just remember. Uh, it's not possible to record uh, or take photos there because of the respect to the woman working there. So after walking around Amsterdam, you'll probably start to feel a little bit hungry right now. And one of the best ways to uh, get a little taste of what Dutch cuisine is like, it's Febo. This is a very well-known chain that has a lot of those restaurants all around the Netherlands and basically what it is it's a chain of automatic food it looks like something you know very modern but it's actually from 1941 they've been doing this you have all those uh, typical Dutch food so you basically put the coins and voila here it is so lunch in the Netherlands is not a big meal. It usually is like a small snack that uh, people have um, during the midday, but then at dinner is like the biggest thing. The most common is they eat like a normal sandwich, or two sandwich, but it's not a big meal. Yeah. And also, yeah, we, now just now we are eating uh, the chicken. Some chicken, the croquettes here. This is, is enough. So if you are looking for a restaurant that has quality and that you can actually try some Dutch specialities, I would say go to the Blue Hollander. That was a recommendation from my brother and it didn't disappoint. So Alfonso, yeah. you are ready to... Uh... I don't know if I'll do it right, but yeah. Yeah, be, be brave. Yeah, man. Let's go a little bit northern to a neighborhood that it's actually not that crowded by tourists. NDSM. This was actually a shipyard. It created the biggest container ships in the world. 
and you know, the place was abandoned, they went bankrupt, and the artists took their place to, to you know, to express themselves. It's a really nice place if you are into, into street art. And the perfect playground for a drone. Speaking of not crowded places and hidden gems, this next spot is probably one of the most photogenic places in the whole city. We went there with my friend Oscar, who is actually the author of the music that you are listening to right now. I'm with my friend Oscar. Here. Hey, nice to meet you. So he's a um, a producer, a music producer, and he uh, he also likes photography a lot. So yeah. So now we're gonna try to show some some sports around Amsterdam. Yeah, he's local, so yeah. He lives here. He knows everything. And look at this spot. This is crazy. Also here with my brother Alejandro. Say hey, hi. How are you, man? <laughs> And yeah, we're gonna get some shots here. So my brother there is risking his life. <laughs> I would go for... Okay. Okay, vale, vale. Uy, 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 uy. Wow! <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <Que> frío. I left Amsterdam under the rain of course and just thinking about a city that it's just as fun as it is inspiring. I will come back soon. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. It takes a lot of time to put everything together, so I haven't posted that much lately, but there's a lot of stuff coming soon. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't, give a like, and if you actually want a personalized video by me, you can have it, it's on the link down below, and you will actually support my page, my platform, uh, grow, so that's, that's awesome. Thanks a lot and see you in the next adventure.